Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. We are two months from Christmas, folks, so this is the time. If you want to get your home decorated, or maybe you want to do this as a business, or maybe this is already your business, give them a call at 631-957-5106. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, on Long Island, and the website is liholidaylighting.com. Omni True Value Hardware, where they have salt and the best prices in the tri-state area. They've got plenty of rock salt. There are shortages going on, and prices are higher this year. But Omni's got the lowest prices around. They're at one six. They're at twelve twenty six North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, and their telephone number is six three one seven five six one one two five. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. And we're going to talk about the uh, developing nor'easter. And uh, the development is actually already underway. We're watching two features here on the satellite. First off is the energy, and that is the low pressure uh, system that is moving uh, into uh, Illinois and Indiana and pushing into Ohio. And there is now a second low that is developing uh, off the uh, Georgia coast, and that's taking all this what was Gulf moisture now and just moved it up uh, into the Atlantic. Uh, we're seeing uh, quite a bit of it, of it getting generated here, and the energy from this is going to feed into the developing offshore low, and that's going to wind up uh, producing uh, a major storm. But uh, I'm going to break down what the impacts are because this is a bit of a complex situation with the upper air energy to the west and then that separate energy that is off the coastline. Meanwhile, I just want to point out this giant swirl, this major storm uh, in the Pacific. This is going to be our weather maker for the end of the week. This storm set record low pressures yesterday for a non-tropical system uh, in, the, uh, in the Pacific, uh, getting down to 944 millibars, which for an equivalency of, of some kind, just to give you an idea, that's the kind of pressure that you would see in a strong Category 3 hurricane. So this was de this is definitely a powerhouse, and that's an issue for later this week. But we're going to stay focused here on the first weather system. Now, uh, you'll notice that there are clouds moving to from southwest to northeast. There's a big break in the cloud cover across Pennsylvania down into Maryland and also now into Delaware. That's going to be spreading northeastward. So really, for the rest of today— day side and into this evening, nothing much is going to be happening. Uh, we're going to have uh, daytime heating, and that's going to take temperatures up into the 70s. And you can see on the radar, there's nothing close by. There's a giant hole. The overnight rain has moved up into New England. There's a, a big empty space on the radar from uh, New York State and into southern New England, right down into Virginia. Then you've got the rain along and off the North Carolina coast with the developing coastal low. And then we've got the showers and thunderstorms that are starting to fire up in parts of Ohio, uh, eastern Ohio and eastern Kentucky, back to some rain and some heavy rain and thunderstorms back in southern Michigan. It's got that comma-shaped look on the radar. So that's telling you that we've got a very strong area of energy that is moving to the east. So let's focus on the new NAM run. Well, okay, before we do that, why don't we just look at the surface map at the moment. And the, the warm front that we talked about yesterday is now moved north of New York City into the lower Hudson Valley. So uh, it, we're in the warm sector here. There's your low uh, right on the Indiana-Illinois border. And to the south, here is the beginnings of your coastal low uh, off, the, uh, off the Georgia coast. So uh, we'll... Uh, we're going to take a look. As I said, we're going to jump over to the uh, NAM model. Let me bring up uh, the uh, the maps here, and I'm going to start off with the uh, rainfall potential. Now, because we've got these two areas of energy going on, most of the rain that we're going to see during the uh, late tonight. And the first, and, and for the first part of tomorrow, is actually going to be generated by the the upper low that is swinging eastward. And you'll notice on the forecast precipitation map. Now this is through 10, 11 p.m. tonight. You're not actually. Let's even just go back a little further. This is at 8 p.m. tonight. So for much of eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, really, there's nothing here going on. 
Now you start to see some precip show up in southeastern Pennsylvania. Those will probably be thunderstorms, and then it really blows up as the upper low swings east. The coastal low rain actually initially goes out to our south and east, but the upper low is going to fire up some, some heavy rains, and we're talking about rainfall accumulation in total by early Wednesday morning. All of that purple there is at least two and a half inches or more. The darker purples, we're talking four inches plus. So this really does look like it's going to put down at least two to four inches of rain. And you see that little hot spot there in southeastern Pennsylvania, probably because the model's picking up on some convection. Uh, that, that's a six inch plus rainfall uh, total there that's being generated. Now, it may not be in that exact spot, but the point, the takeaway from this would be that uh, somebody who gets under a, a, a stronger thunderstorm uh, that develops tonight uh, could wind up uh, with uh, an excessive amount of rainfall. Now we'll roll back on the NAM so you can watch how this how this all plays with respect to the surface low and with the development of the upper low. So here we are at 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., midnight. So you're starting to see those are heavy thunderstorms in eastern PA down into Delaware. This is why the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal to slight risk. Uh, the rain from the nor'easter is on the lower right. You see the surface low there goes out to the east. So at least initially, all the rains that we'll see here later tonight and during the day on Tuesday are going to be more from the upper low. And in fact, a little surface low there forms right along the New Jersey coast from that upper low. The, 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 tr the tightest pressure gradient with this will come when the coastal low swings back westward. That's going to happen later Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night. That's going to bring the strongest winds over southeastern New England and over eastern Long Island. Those areas, I think, are going to see some gusts of 50 miles an hour or more. But further west, and particularly once you get away from the coastline, uh, the wind is going to be less of the pro a problem. Yes, it's going to be breezy to occasionally windy, Yes, there could be some odd gusts in some heavier thunderstorms. Certainly, you could see gusts of 30 or 40 miles an hour as those thunderstorms fire up. But uh, in terms of a, a steady wind, a steady sustained wind, I think the strongest of those winds will be uh, to the east. So just bear that in mind. Now, here we are Wednesday morning. The low is starting to move, uh, making that full loop, starts to pull away. We'll see some marginal improvement in the weather for Wednesday into Thursday. Thir Thursday could wind up being like, Wednesday I think we're gonna have a problem with clouds all day. Thursday will probably maybe clear out a little bit Wednesday night, perhaps start with some sun on Thursday before clouds start rolling in. And now you start to see that next storm system, that Pacific storm that is moving inland uh, today and tonight, uh, that low, I'm gonna just run it back. You can see that low starts to come out of uh, Louisiana, uh, running uh, into the Tennessee Valley. It's a little bit of a different setup here because the block that is forcing this first storm to go out underneath us will eventually be breaking down late this week. So uh, that's going to uh, cause this next storm to redevelop in the central Appalachians rather than off offshore. That creates a strong southeast flow. This is Friday morning, and we're going to get into some heavier rains and thunderstorms Friday afternoon into Friday night, and there probably will be strong gusty winds with that from the southeast. And then as it moves away over the weekend, weather conditions are going to be very slow to improve because the the storm system in the upper air trough with this uh, will take a long time to get out of the way. There'll be some lingering showers around on Saturday, and there might even still be a lingering shower or two running around on Sunday before we get into some better weather, perhaps come next Monday. So this is overall, in, su in summary, this is not going to be a good weather week uh, with everything that's going on. Uh, and uh, the rainfall amounts, when we spread them over the full week period, this is from uh, WPC on their uh, seven-day forecast rainfall amounts. So that orange area is five inches plus. So that covers uh, much of central New Jersey all the way up into uh, southeastern New England. And you've got several inches of rain being indicated in total uh, as far south as uh, central Virginia, back into uh, the western Virginia, 
and on up into the eastern half of Pennsylvania. So we're basically getting um, a month's worth of rain uh, or more uh, in uh, in this week ahead with these two storms. You can see this is all from what's going on in the Pacific Northwest. This is all going on uh, at the moment. So um, we'll be updating you, of course, uh, throughout uh, to, to the rest of today. And, of course, we'll have more tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show on my YouTube channel at 7.30 Eastern Time. And we'll be on top of things again uh, during tomorrow while this is all going on. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com, the website. And uh, also brought to you by, as I accidentally uh, knocked it off there on the screen, uh, wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. 631-957-5106 is the phone number and the website there, liholidaylighting.com. So one last look at the satellite. Uh, very busy here uh, with the storm, uh, one storm center developing off the Georgia coast, another storm moving into Indiana with that northern energy and then this Pacific powerhouse that's coming in to the Pacific Northwest. And by the way, on the lower left, you can see her, what was Hurricane Rick moving inland over Mexico. And fortunately, uh, that moisture is not moving up into the U.S. It's just going to kind of get lost down there uh, in the mountains of Mexico. So we'll see you tonight on my YouTube show at 730 Eastern Time.